Hi guys, it's Colette. Um, I was just wanting to have a wee peek at some cards for July um, to see, you know, kind of world situations, what's going on, the bigger picture. And um, I shuffled and, and put three out face down and they've come out quite interesting so I thought I would um, share them with you. Um, and just so you know, uh, this isn't so much a teaching video or a psychic development. It's simply um, my viewpoint on the forecast for July for the more world affairs or world energy. And the first card that came out is the Ace of Wands. It's a card of fire energy and um, a sense of new beginnings. But I'll, I'll just go to the next card. This is um the eight of cups in this deck is very much stormy weather and a sense of um you can see a lot of wind and a lot of trauma there through um you know just heavy winds and storms and then the third card was the ace of swords and again another ace so um this is about intellectual action or forceful action so I thought these three were quite interesting together because um, you know, I feel the world's kind of rocky at the moment with a lot of negative energies but there's a lot of hope coming through um, particularly the first week's weekly tarot card The Princess of Dis is a, a good one after the Ten of Swords um, those of you that follow the channel know I tend to link one card behind to the one in front and it's more of a flow than just little chunks so um this monthly one i might continue to do i tend to do it for myself anyway so i just need to get more um more aware of <laughs> just putting the camera on when i'm doing it so anyway the ace of wands for july 2019 we've basically got here um a massive amount of um fire energy now on a, a practical point of view, that fire energy can simply be, um, you know, the the sense of the of climate change, of um, forest fires, of of greatly um, sort of of temperatures going up far more than we would have expected. Um, that in itself is a big warning um, because this just doesn't come in its own. What you tend to get is drought as well. So um, there's going to be quite a few countries um, associated um, that are hit by this card. Sorry, I just got um, my guy giving me the word Cambodia um, as a place that would be um, affected um, by this fire energy card, by this... Um, heat and i'm sorry if that's the old name for the country I'm, a lot of countries change their names um but my guide is saying it as cambodia um so um we might need to you know send our hopes and prayers and a lot of thought and healing energy to cambodia um as we go through july uh now this again I mean, White Storm was saying that as I was talking about climate change and, and, and temperatures. But this card is also an aggressive card. It can be the, the masculine, aggressive, not assertive as such, but aggressive energy that um, we're feeling a lot at the moment. There's a lot of um, patriarchal energies about. Um, if you look at the USA at the moment, um, it's probably... I would say, although there's a lot more females um, in Congress than before and, um, you know, a lot more feminine influence coming through, it still feels very, very male-dominated and not necessarily good male-dominated. It's, it's like males that are saying, no, you can't do this, you can't do that, we're taking care of this, we're thinking for you, we're signing, you know bills that will affect females but um we're doing it in a room full of like 24 men and no females so this actually this card the ace of ones represents that type of masculine in your face um aggressive energy and it's not nice um but it's happening all over the world um 
and I, I don't know quite what to say on it apart from it certainly needs balance with more um, of the like the ace of cups or the feminine energy um, or maybe just more females with this energy um, it's difficult to know but if you look at a lot of the even if you look at um, the Brexit situation um, we've got an awful lot of people competing that are very masculine energy you know Theresa May is on is on the way out and there's this sense of you know where is she now and, and that's fine um, but the energies that are coming through are very very masculine very almost intolerant very we can get away with what we want which is similar to the states and a few other countries so that's the driving force card for July um, the good things about it it is a driving force if it's used properly um, it can be used to move things forward um, it can allow groups of people to stand up for themselves and fight the energy that um, is out there but it can bring a lot of aggravation and um, you know if, if there were more um, scary cards after it uh, you know the ten of swords or the three of swords or the tower I would say that there would even be a, a war aspect coming through but hopefully the following card being the eight of cups is, is very much um, stormy weather it's very much uh, the energy of um, not quite knowing what's coming and having to bend look at those trees bending in the wind and all the sort of electrical energy above it now the eight of cups in the more traditional decks doesn't have that aspect in it really at all but in the Rorig deck it is very much about storms um it's about whirlwinds it's about the energy of um emotional energy kind of all over the place you know it's, it's not a case of everybody's sad or everybody's happy it, it's an energy of confusion like what the hell's happening in the world so you, you could you know have completely opposites you could have flooding in areas and you could have fires in others you could have um a sense of um trees being blown down and all sorts of um scary stuff with maybe even hurricanes or high winds but at the same time in other areas it will be perfectly placid and fine there's a confusion there uh, possibly the type of confusion that comes when um, people mistake weather for climate um, and you'll know who I'm talking about with that one and uh, so this very much brings a lot of um, a lot of unusual weather which is part of a trend of climate change um, and it's not particularly good and it, it, it it's with the ace of wands as a foundation card to it it does tend to mean that um the sort of energy that we would maybe focus on something with this card we're not quite sure what to focus on and i i felt that building up myself if we look at it even politically or if we're looking at the the things that we normally support it's a case of saying I can't do everything you know like every time I'm on Twitter or I'm looking at the news it's like I normally support certain charities and therefore I, I, I don't support others because you can only give so much um, but it's very much that um, every time I'm on social media I see something that takes my attention and I run with it with either protests or with support and um, then some then two hours later there'll be something else that I think oh my god I've got to not so much have my say on it but support that person or support what's going on um, you know like even just the last few days there's been the sense of the kids in um, the, the immigrant children at the USA Mexico border 
and all the stuff that's been going on in them and, and reading about it and, and hearing people's point of views, what can be done, what can't be done, what people want done, what people don't care about and, and getting quite upset with it. And then two hours later seeing that, um, you know, even like Scottish independence is getting slapped down by Westminster because of this, this and this and like, right, okay. And then something else like, you know, um, the... You know, situations where fascism and stuff's coming through in certain countries and then you're like okay and and then oh there's Catalonia and oh there's this going on in Africa and this and Venezuela and and it that's that's that card you know before you even think about you know your your own stuff um <laughs> you know it's not even confusion over what you'll have for tea that night or it's not confusion over your own family it's the stuff that's going on in the background um and this is the type of card when it becomes too much that people start switching off they go oh now i would caution you in doing that this isn't the time to be switching off it's the time for maybe narrowing things down a bit we all have our strengths we all have things that we care about more than others um and and that's different for different people so if you know that your strength is um advocating for children then do that if you know that your strength is advocating for mental health issues then put your put your time and direction in that if you know that you know you can't go on marches but you are a keyboard warrior like myself then do that um but don't let yourself get so worn out because of this kind of emotional confusion card um we don't want that we're not interested in that um it's good to have the news and it's good to know what's going on but you're only one person you can't do everything so my advice on this card is actually to narrow it down and maybe not be on social media so much so that your brain's completely confused um and also with this remember the practical aspects of um very confusing weather um and what that means for climate the third card is the ace of swords big sword nice clear horizon behind us blue sky uh, and the light glinting off the sword the ace of swords is about willpower but it's also about intellect and it basically shows that out of this can come more clear thought um, a sense of direction and where to uh, focus our intellect where to focus um, our energies that we can get something done and that's good to see after this kind of all over the place card before it but i felt even when i put this down it merited an explanation card <clears throat> yes it's taking action yes it's using intellect and willpower but i wanted another card but i just then come online so i'm going to draw it this is an explanation card for what type of action or what extra we can have on this Ace of Swords card. And I've shuffled it, I'm going to cut, and the card that comes out oh, is the sense of feeling a failure. <laughs> Great, isn't it? July and the world, goodness. Let's let's see this. Let's get a wee man sitting at the bottom. Do you see him? And he's got his head down and then there's all these energy kind of balls above him. And yes, there is light through them, but he's sitting with his head down. And the card is a sense of being a failure, not being able to cope. So although the Ace of Swords is saying take action, use your intellect, move forward, use your willpower as, as a as groups, as countries, as world inhabitants. Again, I, I asked for a wee bit extra. What should we personally use the Ace of Swords for? And it's basically to get us out of the feeling of failure or feeling of powerlessness that can come over us, of head down. You know, when we get confused and when we're all over the place, like I said, it's easier to say I'm switching off and I'm going to go and 
you know, just uh, sit and just not think of anything for a wee while. That's fine for a wee while, but it's not it's not good enough um, if you're walking your talk. You don't need to necessarily be political um, if you're an awakened being, but you do need to be moral in some way. You do need to stand up for things that are wrong. Otherwise, what's the point? Not stand up for things that are wrong. Stand against things that are wrong. Um, so this is telling us that to take that intellect and that willpower and use it for the greater good, but also keep working on ourselves so that when everything feels too much that we don't put our heads down and say, I can't handle all this, go away, I'm, I'm retreating, I'm going into my own mind, I'm going into my own fantasies, I'm going into my own wee world and the rest of the world can get on with it. You are an individual, you have individual power. If you join with other people, whether that's in prayers or in um, groups, resistance, whatever, you have more power and that's really what this reading I think is saying. That there's so much going on in July that we might be tempted to go, oh no, sympathy overload, can't do it. Our weak computers in our heads are going to explode. We're being asked not to allow that to happen. We're asked to keep going, keep fighting, keep talking, keep complaining, keep fighting that um, ace of wands, the fire energy, the sort of more masculine energy. Now, you can do that in your own way. If, if your way of doing that is using acts of kindness, just on an individual basis, then that's where it starts. That's wonderful. If we all looked at ourselves in our own little lives and um, didn't allow this sense of power, um, then it would all filter up the way, I'm sure. But whether you march, whether you complain on Twitter, whether you... Um, go to the church or the mosque or or the the you know the temple or the sweat lodge or nature. If that's your answer to that's that's fine, but keep caring. Just keep caring, and hopefully August will give us more clarity. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the four cards, the original three and then the fourth one. Um, you don't need to know the tarot to um, work with Rorig because um, some of the visuals are completely different to the traditional tarot cards anyway. So if you just want to look at the visuals, um, let me know what you get on them, that would be lovely. Um, I love interaction on the channel and also let me know if you like the wee look I had at at the month ahead, more for the world rather than individual persons. And uh, we'll take it from there. So that's July 2019. And um, keep going. You can do this. Many blessings now. Bye.